working with a form as a B rep. In this video, we'll use flatten and split body. In Fusion 360, we want to carry on with our car hood. We're going to begin working with it as a B rep, but first let's take a look at a couple other tools that we have access to. Under Modify, there are many tools in here that can help us simplify the underlying geometry and potentially even create flattened sections, for example, using the tool Flatten. It's important to look at and play around with all of these different tools to make sure that you understand their functionality. In the case of the car hood, tools like Smooth, Pull, Flatten, and even Straighten can be very handy. Let's take a look at Flatten. Flatten allows us to fit, use a selected plane, or make it parallel to a selected plane. This allows us to make selections and create an average distance between them. We can select a plane and pull geometry directly to it, or we can be parallel to a plane. When we do this, we can also use either control points or surface points. The difference is the surface points will get pulled to the selected plane, but the underlying geometry might be problematic. Let's take a look at an example. Let's use surface points first, and we'll select the plane as our YZ plane. When we start to select vertices, for example, inside of this grill area, notice how the geometry changes based on our selection. If we change from surface points to control points, notice that we're actually getting closer to a flattened section inside of that area. It's important to understand that the control points are creating the geometry or the underlying curvature based on their position. But when we use the surface points, it can be problematic, again, because what we're really saying or what we're really doing here is we're taking the exact surface and we're moving it forward or parallel to a plane. So it's a good idea to play around with these options and see if one works better than the other for your specific geometry. If we needed to have a flat cooler or radiator mount here and we needed a flat section, this could be a reason why we might want to flatten the grill opening. If we don't like the way the grill opening actually ended up being created, we can select all these faces, use Modify, Edit Form, and push it a little bit deeper into the car. That way that flattened section is a little bit farther back. Now that we've played around with some more tools, let's finish the form, let's reshow the body, and take a look at the updates. Everything looks pretty good from here, our crease on the edge is fine, and we've got this flattened section, even though it rolls back into those corners. But now that we have this surface as a B-Rep, what can we do with it? Let's begin by creating a sketch, and in my case, I'm gonna use the YZ plane, and I'm gonna start with a center point rectangle. I'm gonna make sure that I start below the origin, and I'm gonna place this about in the middle of my grill opening area. I wanna make sure that I have a vertical constraint between the center of that rectangle, and then I want to begin using my sketch dimension tool to make sure its position is, in this case, 95 millimeters down. I'm going to set its width to 135, and I'm going to set its height to 30 millimeters. Now that I have a sketch in relation to the grill opening, I could use that sketch to trim the surface. I could use it to create an extrude that goes from or to a surface or I can use it to split the face of the surface. In my case, I'm gonna start by creating a solid extrude. The solid extrude is going to come all the way through the geometry. And the reason I'm doing this is because oftentimes it's hard to find a good reference for where things need to be. And you sometimes will create a reference such as this extrude that you can use as the basis for other features. In my case, I'm gonna to go to my surface tools, Go to Create and select Offset. Select just this face. I'm going to offset it forward 20 millimeters and say OK. When I offset it 20 millimeters, I'm then going to use the Split Body tool. The body to split will be that rectangular extrude, and the splitting tool will be that offset surface we just created. This is going to leave me with that offset surface body and body 2, and I can simply remove those. The next thing that I might want to do is I might want to remove the geometry on the back side. Once again, I can use things like split body to get rid of that geometry. Bodies to split will be this rectangular section, and the splitting tool 
is going to be that surface. Once again, I could get rid of that body in this design, but you'll note that this one didn't actually end up being split. Sometimes working with these converted surfaces can be problematic, and you might need to change your approach. In this case, let's try split body one more time. This is our body to split. This is our split tool, but we're gonna turn off extend splitting tool and say okay, and see if that allows us to split that solid body. So turning off the extend split tool, even though it didn't have to extend, gave us the ability to actually split that body. Now I can select all the other bodies inside of the browser. I can right click and remove them, leaving me with just this solid extrude that perfectly matches the underlying surface. Any of this geometry can continue to be modified. For example, if I want to add some small fillets to these corners, or if I want to hide the surface altogether and I want to shell this new body from the backside, giving it a five millimeter wall thickness, I now know that that five millimeter wall thickness perfectly matches the underlying curvature. So it's important to understand that because we had an open surface form body, it's now a surface body in Fusion 360's design workspace. But that doesn't mean that we can't use it to help create the solid geometry. At this point, I strongly urge you to continue playing around, making adjustments to the model, adding new solid geometry, and just seeing what you can do with it. But from here, we're going to save this design before moving on.